Good morning, YouTube. Today is Sunday, July 1st. July is actually my birthday month, and I can't believe it's already July. But it's 7.23 a.m. I woke up at 7, which is pretty good considering I went to bed at like 1 a.m. So that's good. And I feel okay, surprisingly. Um, yeah, last night me and Sebastian stayed up to watch The Strangers. The Strangers Pray at Night, whatever. And it was scary only because, like, it's disturbing, one, like, the, the killing. And it can happen in real life, so that's what's scary about it. But it wasn't the greatest movie. Very predictable. Um, I give it, like, a a 6 out of 10. I mean, it was decently disturbing. I'm just eating breakfast. I don't really know what I'm filming today. I think I'm just gonna like vlog my getting my life together because I feel like my room is a mess. Downstairs is a mess. Just everything. I did not plan my meals yesterday and I need to go grocery shopping. Typically I'm like already left for grocery shopping but it's okay, it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna watch, I don't know what I wanna eat this week and I don't know if I'm gonna do food combination or what. Um, I am eating fruit for breakfast right now. I just have some cantaloupe and some watermelon. I actually really like eating the watermelon specifically for breakfast because it's just so good. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna continue that. And what I'm gonna do is watch Caitlin Shoemaker because she has so many videos about vegan meal prep. So I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find some meals, plan those, and then get ready and go grocery shopping. All right, I'm back from the grocery store. I'm gonna show you everything I got. I got three bags. <clears throat> got some kale. Got some parsley, got bananas, two packs of grape tomatoes, a red onion, three lemons, tricolor pearl couscous. I got two Kite Hill vegan yogurts. This is just the vanilla flavor. Um, I had a coupon for it, but this, this yogurt is actually pretty good. Um, all the vegan yogurts are super high in sugar though, so I never really buy these. I got four layer bars, all different flavors. I got two bags of these Gardein Chipotle Lime Crispy Vegan Chicken Fingers. These are so good. Three avocados. I got unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Natural Bliss Almond Milk Caramel Creamer. I haven't tried this one, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It was on sale. I got some corn. Two cans of Great Northern Beans. Got peanut butter and some frozen mixed berries. That's it. I typically spend like $70 on groceries and I think today I spent about $40. So that's pretty good. Some stuff I still have um, left over like quinoa and you know the basic like seasonings and olive oil and things like that. I still have left over from before so I don't need to buy those things but I'm going to show you what I'm going to make today but first I'm going to make some coffee. I'm really not in the mood to meal prep, but I just ate a snack so I can't go to the gym right now. So I'm gonna just try to make this as quick as possible. And yeah, let's make some coffee. All right, I got some iced coffee. We're gonna try this out. This is my favorite part of iced coffee because just, just wait how beautiful. I typically drink the Silk Almond Milk Creamer, as you guys know if you watch me and if you care, but this one is kind of like a little bit more rich, kind of more like nutty and more rich. This is really good. 
Mm, that's good. I like it. I recommend. A couple things going on. The corn is boiling. That'll just take like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I've got the little chicken strips in the oven. I'll have to flip those in a couple minutes. And then the couscous is simmering. That I love couscous, pearled couscous, because it literally takes like 15 minutes and it's so tasty. And I have cut up the kale. I think kale is so pretty. Like, just look at it. It's purple. It's so pretty. And these are really cheap as well. I think this was $1.29 for And these are organic. Um, but I really like how they look. It's so pretty. So I just chopped these up. And we're going to lightly saute those. All right, for the kale, I added a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to turn the heat on. Add your kale. Okay, we're going to coat it with a little bit more olive oil. And just kind of fluff this around. Get it coated in the oil. And then we're going to sprinkle garlic salt. and red pepper flakes. And just so that's about as much as I cook them. So it's literally only a couple of minutes and I just you just want them like a little bit wilted but not overcooked or anything. And then we're going to shut the heat off and transfer it right to containers so that it's not sitting in the heat. We're going to make our little tabbouleh. So here's what it looks like once it's all cooked. A little bit of olive oil. Do some pink salt. And then we've got some cherry tomatoes, parsley, and red onion. And I squeezed out about four lemons, or two lemons, geez. So two lemons. And just mix this all up. And that's it for that. So I'm gonna let this sit here for maybe like 15 minutes or so, just so it can absorb a little bit of the flavor. And then, of course, I'll put it into my containers and that one will be done. So this is one meal, very simple. And then I've got the other meal. So there's the corn, quinoa, kale, great northern beans. And then on top of that, this, this I would microwave and then this would just be like refrigerated. So it'd be a nice mix of cold and hot, so some red onions and some grape tomatoes, plus an avocado, half an avocado, but obviously I'm not going to cut that right now. So I'm going to cover these up, and it's a huge mess. Look at these dishes. Oh my god. I'm going to take a workout break and just clean this all up when I get back, so... Yeah, it's 11.25, so that didn't even take me like an hour and a half. So I've already finished meal prepping for the day, which is awesome. So now I can just focus on getting everything else done and relaxing. At the gym today, I'm probably going to do the HIIT workout from my previous video. Uh, my go-to HIIT workout, maybe 15 minutes of bike and then maybe some stretches just because it's Sunday and you know. I'm home now. I'm about to eat some leftover chipotle because I got some yesterday. Don't mind my appearance. I just finished working out. It was super intense. Of course, 
right before we were about to leave, I worked out with Sebastian. It started downpouring, so what's new? It literally rains almost every single day in Georgia, especially in the summer. And like, I'm gonna move to California. I don't care that it's expensive. I don't care that it's, there's a lot of traffic. I'm going there. Sorry for the noise. That is my dishwasher. And I just vacuumed all of downstairs. And I forgot there's one more thing I need to do. I'm gonna make some overnight oats just for three days. And this is gonna be my breakfast. So typically, well, the last two weeks I've been eating just fruit for breakfast, but I've decided I'm gonna do some oats for breakfast this week. Um, and I want to do overnight oats because I think I'm going to try and sleep a little bit later. So I typically wake up at 4.30 a.m. But if I can go for like 4.45 or maybe even 5 a.m., that would be good so I can get more sleep. So I'm just using Quaker oats, uh, quick oats. And we're going to add, I think it's 40 grams. Yeah. 40 grams each. Add some chia seeds to each. I'm gonna add cinnamon, almond milk. peanut butter. Lastly, I'm going to top it with frozen berries. And that's it. So, I know it's not the prettiest, but these always taste so good, and you just pop it in the fridge, and then they're good to eat in the morning. I don't really know what to do right now. It's like 5.30, and I have finished meal prepping, I finished cleaning, I gotta, I folded my laundry, but that's half of it, so I'm gonna put that away. I think I'm just gonna straighten my hair, and then I will... F-E-E-D the dogs if I say that word or anything of the like they'll know what I'm talking about so okay my hair is straight you guys hungry? who's hungry? Bambi you hungry? Ready to eat dinner? <laughs> you hungry? You hungry? Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> Run! Go, Haley. <laughs> it's about seven o'clock now. I'm gonna spend the next thirty minutes, or until my heart is content, of just reflecting on the last six months and writing out my goals for the next six months of 2018 and just maybe the next five years I don't know who who knows just planning out some things and then I'm going to I'll probably read tonight but this week I have a short week at work so that's gonna be nice I have Wednesday off because it's July 4th and I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but it'll be weird to have like a day off in the middle of the week. That's really it for this video. Sorry, it's not very interesting. This is like, I always meal prep in my videos because that is what I do every single week. So it's like one of the most helpful things that I can share because typically I'm always cooking something different or at least like tasty so if you're a new vegan or if you're if you're new at meal prepping even um 
hopefully that can give you ideas and help you out. But I would love to know what type of videos you guys would prefer to watch. Vlogging, um, talk throughs, I don't know. I don't always know what to film, but obviously I've been filming a lot more and I'm happy to see a lot of progress in my subscriber count and it's really exciting to watch the numbers go up every day. Um, anyways, I'm just rambling. So if you have any recommendations or questions or whatever, then I would greatly appreciate that and you can either leave it in the comments below or find me on Instagram at livinglikelayla. I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys in my next video.